you want a bite or something to drink first? I've had plenty of bites and drinks since you've been gone, but I haven't had my man for two months, and I refuse to wait one moment longer. How did it all go? I oh, sold some, bought more. Mm -hmm. for one thing for that i was willing to give you everything you ever dreamed of well then i guess we're done here do you love me or was this all just about the sex i don't come here for that i can get that anywhere i'm in control here what i want what i like the price you would pay for not giving it to me i was abundantly clear the very first night that we met at that bar you ruined it. This is an act of selfishness and stupidity. So what happens now? You throw me out onto the street corners like a hefty bag filled with last night's takeout containers? I thought our love was stronger than that. I thought it would take more to make you hate me. you at daddy dick's place i'm exercising my independence he finally threw you out we had a small lover spat and now i'm giving him an opportunity to miss me what happened if he don't miss you what if he cuts you off yeah who's gonna pay for this apartment don't worry children mother would never let a single man be in charge of her destiny i have my fingers in many pots around this city is that what they call being a slut now shut the fuck up I generally prefer to meet gentlemen friends for some fine dining at Windows of the World. I've come to this place before to meet the girls. It's safer. Unless someone sees me come in. So you've done this before? Yes, but uh, none of them look like you. That's for certain. Are you married, Mr. Bacall? Joe. No, I was. She passed about ten years ago. Accident on our boat off Montauk. So you have a boat? God damn, you are beautiful. Brandy Alexander. Two, please. What kind of business are you in, Joe? I work at uh, Drexel Burnham. We do leveraged buyouts, junk bonds. So you're rich. <laughs> you get right to the point. I just want to make sure that we're not wasting each other's time. I love a good negotiation. You first. I will need an apartment, fully furnished. Nothing south of 60th or east of 3rd Avenue. I will know that I'm loved when I receive gifts. Expensive ones. I also expect a weekly allowance in cash. And only after I feel looked after would I even consider a kiss on the cheek. I am a lady, after all. Of course. That all sounds reasonable. I assume you'll also need a car service to come collect you for our dates. Oh, Joe, we're going to get along so well. I could tell. Are you ready for my terms? Shoot. You have to look this good every time I see you. Mm. And I like a dark color on your fingers and toes. Even in the summer months? Never change your perfume. It's already driving me crazy in my pants. And no other men, ever. I despise the nighttime color in July. But I suppose we must both give a little. This is a negotiation after all. One more thing. Not every time, but once in a while, when we have sex, I want you to urinate on me. Everybody's got a thing, I guess, right? I 
don't like it when you can aim, you know? I'm sorry. I can't do that. Have you ever tried? No. I mean, I cannot do what you're asking. Oh. <sighs> kind of messed up for you not to say that in your head. Mr. Ford said not to let you up. A little dramatic, don't you think? I'm just here to collect a few of my things. Everything up there belongs to Mr. Ford. Let me through! Keep out of here, bitch. Nothing would make me happier than to break your fucking freak face. You know where you're going, ma'am? Yes, I do. To the penthouse. Mr. Ford said unpack your things, make yourself comfortable. He'll be up there sometime this afternoon. Thank you. give you some satisfaction. You won. None of us win when one of us gets beat down. Even someone who had the beat down coming to them. Why do you always reduce everything down like that? Because I don't trust you. Your problem is you don't trust anyone. That's my golden rule. Trust gives people power over you. You and I both know that sleeping at a fast food booth and working the sex trade, you won't live out the year. You're going to end up down at the morgue. Okay. You want to be a beautiful corpse? Fine. I don't like being needy. I hate myself for it. You have a lot to hate yourself for, but needing help ain't one of them. 